Hey y'all, what's up? This is Rosie, and I am fascinated with this blue singer from the 20s. Y'all know that I think I got fascinated with him around 2020 or so when I saw Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. So I wanted to just go on this quest to find out things about other blue singers such as herself. And I found the movie Bessie and watched that. Well, within that movie, there was a scene where Bessie Smith's brother played her this really, really dirty song. I mean, it was so dirty. And this was like in the 1920s or so. So he played her the record and the lyrics. Oh my God. And so he was suggesting that maybe that was what she should do to revitalize her career and she was like no I can't do that I, I, I can't I can't sing like that I can't say stuff like that if you look up Lucille Bogan on YouTube you will see why she felt like she couldn't say, say things like that so Lucille Bogan was born in Amory Mississippi but some sources say that she was born in Birmingham, Alabama. I choose to say she was born in Birmingham, Alabama because I'm claiming her as ours. So, um, yeah, she, she was uh, born in, on April 1st, 1897. And, um, and she was a dirty blues and jazz musician. She was one of the big three with Ma Rainey and Bessie Smith, as I think I said and some of the lyrics I mean I am an erotica writer and her lyrics make me blush I don't know how many times I've listened to her songs but each time I listen to them again my jaw drops each and every time this woman was so ahead of her time and I really really like her I wish there could be more information found out about her I wish that a movie could be made about her, or, or at least a documentary or something but um I mean she was really she was something else and um, I can't really go into the lyrics because of YouTube but um, well hell I'm not getting monetized anyway so she calls her her hoo-ha a cock yeah um, I guess that's what women did back then I have heard reference to that um, before I won't say who it was or or anything like that but someone that my mom used to know we used to go to church with told a story about when she was younger I think she was a teenager and well things happened with this boy that she knew and her mom took her to the hospital and I think her mom told the doctors or something that that boy and told her cock out the frame so yeah I have heard reference to that before and so um anyway Lucille Bogan it was just a fascinating woman um, she talked about um, the same sex situations she she has a song called BD woman and I don't want to say what BD means but it's in reference to um, lesbians I'll just say and <clears throat> excuse me and that term is used in a very derogatory sense now but back then you know this was the 1920s so um, but um, the song is called BD Woman's Blues and she talked about um, prostitution or sex work as we call it now she just talked about a lot of things that even today is a little bit taboo and 
um, this YouTuber that I watched today said it best. He said, Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion ain't got nothing on Lucille Bogan. Again, listen to this woman's songs. They're on YouTube and bring her into the public consciousness because she does not deserve to be forgotten. We remember Ma Rainey. We remember Bessie Smith. To bring the big three back into the public consciousness, we need to remember Lucille Bogan. So, I just thought that talking about her would be interesting because like I said, this was a woman, she was so progressive for the 1920s, I mean, 100 years ago. And she's talking about stuff that just now is being accepted. You know, being a, being a sex worker and um, how hard it is to be one and to be a, a lesbian and saying that they won't need no men's. Um, and how dirty they they are being done and, and just things like that that wasn't accepted back then because she was not mainstream she was very underground this stuff would be played in juke joints and probably in the comfort of of a person's own home I don't know if my great grandparents listened to them or not I'm pretty sure they didn't I'm, I'm pretty sure they didn't um, but I could just imagine that people who lived around them probably did know about her and did play her songs and listen to them freely. Until I listened to her music, I didn't know that people even talked like that back then. I had no idea that that was something that women did. I mean, yeah, I knew that women had sex. I knew that there were women who were, you know, free with their sexuality in every age, in every century, probably even in the Bible. But when you don't hear about it being spoken of in everyday life, and it's not in any history books, it's not something that you genuine, that you generally think about. It's just not spoken of. And so until I watched Ma Rainey's Black Bottom and saw that, saw and read and heard that she was a, a bisexual woman and heard some of her songs talking about it. And until I saw Bessie and saw, you know, the imagery of Queen Latifah being intimate with women and then being intimate with men because she too was bisexual and you know I just didn't know that stuff like that went on back then but it shouldn't surprise me because something else I want to talk about in another video um, is how holy people some Christians from back in the day are some of the most hypocritical but that's another video for another time I'll talk about it one day hopefully I'll remember but this woman Lucille Bogan along with Ma Rainey along with Bessie Smith was so progressive and she was ahead of her time and she is one of the dirtiest <laughs> lyricists I have ever heard there's a song that she did I think um, it was shave them dry where she said a lyric that even made her laugh and instead of cutting that out and making her do the takeover they kept it in the song and it's so cute and it's so raw and real I love that song and I have to find more of her music because she is just so intriguing and so fascinating like oh gosh you can't help but know that this stuff is real that like miss miss lucille was that really what you were doing back then is that how you were living life you was you was you was doing that okay um 
But yeah, I, I just thought it would be interesting to talk a little bit about Lucille Bogan. I don't know a lot about her at all because I can't find much information on her. But it is said that she died on August 10th, 1948. And so I, you know, um, I, I just want to find out more about her. Um, here on Wikipedia, it says she managed her son's jazz group, Bogan's Birmingham Busters, for a time before moving to Los Angeles, shortly before her death from coronary sclerosis in 1948. And she is interred at the Lincoln Memorial Park in Carson, California. So, I don't know much about Ms. Bogan, but I'm just hoping that somebody will know something maybe she has some some descendants that will write a book about her put out a movie about her life she deserves to be brought back up into the con the public consciousness because sex isn't a bad thing i write about it lots of people are interested in it and it's i mean it, it's a beautiful thing when a woman can be free with her sexuality and free enough to sing about it. It's nothing to be ashamed of. So if any of Miss Bogan's descendants hear this, please write a book about your grandmother, great grandmother, great great grandmother, whoever she was to you. Find out more about her life. Release videos, pictures, something so that this woman can be remembered along with Ma Rainey, along with Bessie Smith and along with a lot of the greats that were out back in those times because she deserves to have her name remembered too. And with that, you guys, I'm gonna go. I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave me a comment and tell me your thoughts. If you listen to any of her songs, tell me what you think about her lyrics because they are something else. They really, they're something else. And, um, yeah, just, just, uh, yeah, subscribe for more content. Um, I love you guys very, very much. Thank you for wasting time with me. I hope to see y'all on next upload. Bye for now.